Uh, listen, as long as we're talking about money, spending money, a trip to Germany could cost you thousands of dollars. It's a lot less expensive to travel to Northwest D.C. to celebrate Oktoberfest, and that's where we find Fox 5's Holly Morris this morning. Holly. Good morning to you. You know, you can never have too much information when it comes to learning about beer and food, right? Interestingly enough, when you're talking about Oktoberfest, restaurants actually see an increase in beer sales because it encourages people to come out, see what new is on tap, and kind of envelop themselves in the festive spirit. We have all of that here this morning at Brasserie Beck. Uh, a big part of our spirit we're leaving, or hang, hang, handing over, I should say, to the Edelweiss Band because they have been keeping us up all morning long. Brian Preby, along with Sylvia and Bill, uh, make up the band. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for coming out and playing with us. And I have to uh, brag a little bit here on Brian. Bill gave me the inside scoop because you play that big, uh, I would call it the Ricola horn. Well, it's, it's, it's an called, Alpine. It's called the Alp horn, the Alpine, Alpine horn. horn. And you were in an international competition that had some 750 people and you came in second? Not quite 700 people. <laughs> there were, there were uh, uh, I think, 170. Bill, you embellished the story. You're the last time I use, I use uh, you as my source. That's okay, but I'm going to use you for my music. Tell me a little bit about the group. Well, it's, uh, this is the Edelweiss Band from Potomac, Maryland, and uh, sometimes we play as a trio, sometimes we play as a seven-piece group. So we, we play all kinds of uh, Oktoberfest events in various configurations and uh, really enjoy playing this kind of music together. So this really is your big season. Yes. Yeah, so you're booked, right? Pretty solidly, yeah. <laughs> Although we do have some openings. If anybody would like to find us, we're available on www.agas.us slash Edelweiss. There you go. We'll have a link on our site as well. Do you think you can play a little bit more for us this morning? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Edelweiss Band, take it away. You can't, you just can't help but be happy when you hear that. And as they do that, I'm making my way around here to the bar and to Thor. This is Thor Cheston. He is the beer master here. And so tell me a little bit about what you guys got going on for October. Well, during Oktoberfest, we love to have a lot of good German beers. I mean, the Germans, this is their time for beer. This is the time when they, the beginning of the brewing season, and so they drink all the beers that they that they brewed at the end of the brewing season. They drink the last of the stock. The style of beer is called a Märzen, uh -huh. and now, I mean, it's more generally known as Oktoberfest, you know, because this is the style of beer that's drunk at the big beer festival in Munich. Okay, so you're going to um, pour some beer for us. Absolutely, so absolutely. And as you're doing that, I knew that I could come to Thor as the beer master to know the real reason why Oktoberfest starts in September. Why it starts in September? Yeah. Well, actually, the first Oktoberfest didn't start. It started in um, October 10th to celebrate the marriage of, of Prince Ludwig I. Um, and the, the entire town of Munich was invited to the festival. And so the festival got so huge that they had to extend it. And so the last, so the big final days of the festival are around the, the the anniversary of King Ludwig's marriage. I got you. So it ends the first part of Absolutely. October. So there you go. That back up the two weeks. So this is one of my favorites from the Ianger Brewery in Bavaria. Absolutely solid. As you can see, all the lovely amber malts, which is absolutely indicative of an Oktoberfest beer. Um, also, the Germans make other beers, really strong double box, big, strong wheat beers. This is one of my favorites, Schneider Aventinus. This is the type of beer as the, as the warmer weather, as the as colder weather comes along. This is fortified, not, not with alcohol, I mean, not with actual liquor, but actually they, they raise alcohol level up. Um, this is about a 9% alcohol, big, strong wheat beer, something to keep you warm during the winter months. I'm out of time, but I'm very impressed that you're pouring here, and I just want to ask you real quickly, am I right that you are in the knighthood of the Brewers Mass Brewers Staff, Mass Staff, Staff in, Brussels? Yes, in Brussels? What Belgium. exactly is that? That is uh, the, uh, it's part of the Brewers Guild. It's a 400-year-old guild of, of Belgian brewers. And I was honored to be inducted into the knighthood in 2009. Who knew I was in front of beer royalty? <laughs> I'm so impressed. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to Brasserie Beck and to the Edelweiss Band if you want to find out more. Of course, we're celebrating Oktoberfest over the next couple weeks here. And we'd love for you to come out to the bar. And they're so nice, guys. Since I couldn't have any beer because I'm pregnant, they did give me these little <laughs> lederhosen for my baby. Well, when my baby's maybe like five, I think that they'll fit. But still. Nonetheless, very cute. We're going to have more Oktoberfest fun in our next hour. Back to you. That is adorable. <laughs> All, right, <now. laughs> All right, Holly, thanks. All right, America's getting to know the...